So there are a lot of pros about the University of Tampa, but there's also some cons. So in this video, we're gonna talk about all the pros and cons on the University of Tampa. Hey everyone, thanks for doing life together today. Ooh, life together today. Growing up my mustache for the summer. I'm gonna see how it goes. No beard, just the mustache for three months until I go back to school. Haircut, got a haircut, and uh, I threw together this pretty good fit. Check us out. I think it's pretty fresh. I don't know about you guys, but. No, but seriously, this sweater, I love it so much. It's unreal. It says, love your enemies on it. And it's actually from a Christian-based company called Elevated Faith. They sell and have a lot of good products there. And if you check them out in my description, there's a link. You get 15% off your entire order if you want anything. So go grab one of these sweaters or anything else. They have a lot of good stuff. You should go check them out. Okay, so the first pro is that the school is located in such a perfect place. It's right in downtown Tampa. So there's so many things nearby and there's a lot of events always going on in the nearby area. And on top of that, the school is literally right on the river. It is the best spot. The best place to put a school honestly well I don't know if it's the best place to put a school but it's so nice to be able to walk down there see the sunset and just chill by the river after a long day another pro about the school is that there are beaches literally right nearby there's a nice chill easy simple small little beach five minutes away it's not like a super huge beach but it's a nice small little beach on a island called Davis Islands there are also like really beautiful beaches 30 to 45 minutes away there's clear water there's Treasure Island there's St. Pete Beach Indian Rocks there's a lot of beautiful beaches but a con about the school is that you can't have a car on campus your first semester freshman year. So if you're an incoming freshman, you can't have a car on campus. Specifically about the school, a huge pro is that there are a lot of organizations offered through the school and on campus. There are literally so many organizations to get involved in on campus. And if there's not one that you're looking for, theoretically, you can start one. Just have the right amount of students and a faculty member to sign off on it and get it started. I gotta stand up for this con. So a huge con, and you guys probably already know about it, is the housing. Right now there's a housing crisis going on at the school and housing in general has been kind of an issue and a con for the school so the way that housing works at the school is that the older you get the lower slot time you get to choose your housing so theoretically by the time you're a senior they want you off campus which is fine it's beautiful because it teaches you independence and it gets you ready for the real world paying rent doing what you need to do and really getting a taste of what true independence feels like but this year a lot of the freshmen weren't even able to get housing on campus which is really hard because as a freshman you're coming into college expecting to to be on campus, take your classes and eat the meal plan and do all that stuff. But if freshmen can't even get housing on campus, then that's a big issue. And a lot of the apartments in the nearby area are filling up and they're really expensive. It's downtown Tampa. It's all over the news. It's going around Facebook pages and a lot of people have stuff to say about the situation. And hopefully the school sends something out acknowledging it and just helping to find a solution for those students who are in this situation. But a fellow YouTuber who does University of Tampa content, her name's Olivia. She made a whole video on off-campus housing. If you need some suggestions, if you need some help finding stuff go check out her video I'll put it in the description and I'll put her channel in the description as well so go check her out and show some support there okay going back to the pro side of things the school offers a lot of majors I'll put a link in the description for a list of all of them and go check this out if you're interested along with all the majors they offer they also offer a lot of good classes for those majors I'm a communication major so I took a script writing class visual literacy mass media and society a history of animation class a lot of good classes that aren't just boring classes so a lot of hands on classes and experience classes but a con about the school is that it's kind of expensive honestly I mean it's a private Florida school so it is going to be expensive but they do offer scholarships but even with the scholarships it's still it's kind of expensive but a pro is that you do get what you pay for honestly there are so many resources available they offer the gym career center mail services academic success center academic help, all these other things. And the class sizes themselves are pretty fairly small, which is great because you'll get a class of no more than probably 50 to 60 people. So if you prioritize and you're intentional, you can make really good relationships with the professors and have actually some really good connections coming out of college. Now, a couple of cons are that the variety of food is good, but after time, over time, throughout the semester, you kind of get bored of it. Um, they don't offer a lot of good variety. They do have variety, but over time, if you just eat the same thing, you kind of get used to it. And Along with that, the meal plans aren't the best. I think they offer like five meal plans, but there's a huge difference between them. It, it goes from like unlimited only in the dining hall to like 15 anywhere throughout the week. And so there's really no in between. It's either unlimited at the dining hall or 15 throughout the week or 12 or seven. And so they offer meal plans, but the meal plans themselves aren't that great. All right, we're gonna do a quick little scene change and then we're gonna get right back into it. This tripod that I'm using has changed the game for filming in the car. 
I'll put it in the description if you want to go check it out, if you want to get one yourself. It's pretty good. Another huge pro about the school is that, you know, they don't call it Champa Bay for nothing. There are a lot of good sports teams in the area. You got the Bucks who just won the Super Bowl, the Lightning who are in the playoffs and won the Stanley Cup last year. You got the Rays who made it to one of the final rounds in the World Series and you know, they have a pretty good soccer team too. I'm gonna share a few more pros and then we're really gonna get into the cons of the school because I know that's what a lot of people wanna know when they watch these. So a pro is that there's really an ease of making new friends. I made a video called How to Make Friends in College and I'll put it up here so you can click on and watch that. But honestly, there are a lot of opportunities to make friends in school and at college and at UT. And so as long as you say hi to people and within your classes, since they're pretty small, you just meet people, there's pretty an ease of making new friends. And as a final pro, the school does offer a good amount of sororities and fraternities. They have a good fraternity and sorority uh, Greek life, but there are no houses on campus, so that might be a little con or also a pro. My girlfriend was in Kappa Alpha Theta and she loved it, Kat loved it. A lot of the sororities and fraternities have social media accounts, so if you want to know more about them, go follow them on socials. All right, peeps, let's dig into more of these cons. So I already mentioned the housing crisis and the situation with that, but also the demographic of the students. So a lot of the students are from the New England, Northeast area of the United States. So a lot of New Yorkers, New Jerseyans, New Jerseyans? I don't know what you call them. Connecticut's. But a lot of those people from that area. So you'll find and meet a lot of people there. The school does have a good international presence, but the school is very heavy New England Northeast people. Another con is that there is no football team at UT. A lot of our sports are D2, Division 2, but they don't have a football team, which kind of stinks. But like we said for one of the pros, Tampa has a lot of good professional sports teams. So the Bucks make up for it. Another big con is once you get a car and once you can bring it down, there is not a lot of parking. Parking. They just built a new parking garage so that should hopefully alleviate some of the issues but parking is tough. And the last con is that U Tampa is a big party oriented school. I know for some that might be a huge pro because they love partying and stuff but that's really not my thing. I don't enjoy doing it and you'll see on Friday nights, Saturday nights, Sunday nights, Thursday nights everyone's going out getting all dressed up and doing that thing. So if you don't party you'll see a lot of that going on on the weekends but trust me you do not have to party to have a good time at UT. I love the school. I would not go to any other school and even though I don't party I have found a beautiful community. I found my girlfriend and you will have a good time. But along with that, every school is going to have some cons. Every school is going to have something you don't like about it. But I love UT. If you go to UT or you decide to go to UT, I'm curious to know why. Leave me some comments down below to let me know why. Why'd you go to UT? Why'd you choose UT? And what you're looking forward to. I respond to 100% of the comments. I love talking with you guys. I love getting to know you. I love connecting with you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy commenting and watching these too. Thank you to Hogger456, Dance Lover, and SparklyMint66 for asking for this video as well as Kat, Maria, Nevin, and Kelsey for giving me some other pros and cons about the school. If you're going to UT in the fall, I made a whole video on what to expect going to the University of Tampa, which I'll put down below and up here. Thanks for watching, thanks for joining, and thanks for doing life with all of us here today at this channel.